I broke public defenders programs down into two types. One type uh, were the traditional programs uh, exemplified by uh, New York City's public defender program and also the one in Chicago. I spent time uh, studying both programs uh, for one reason or another. I've written a book on bail, and I've written a book about judges, and they took, uh, the, the, these studies have taken me to, to those cities. Uh, and I call those programs traditional defender programs. And they were characterized by being highly political, that there was a strong political influence in the hiring and firing and funding of the programs, that they pretty much fell into the type of public defender program that most people think about, in which public defenders are young kids coming right out of college, I mean, right out of law school, and they work for the public defender in pretty shabby conditions, underpaid, especially vis-a-vis -vis the prosecutor. Prosecutors uh, have much better pay, generally. They have better, they have investigators, they have forensic scientists, they have uh, expert witnesses they can bring in, and you know, we operate an adversarial system in this country. And the idea is that by having this battle between the prosecution and the defense, that somehow truth and justice will emerge from this battle. And that assumes what? That it's a level playing field. Well, in the traditional defender programs, it's a pretty much tilted program. Because you've got public defenders down here with ridiculous caseloads, underpaid, no facilities, no support staff, and they're going against the prosecutors who have all the power in the world. And the greatest power that prosecutors have is their ability to pick their cases. They're the ones who decide whether a case is strong enough to go ahead and prosecute, strong enough to uh, go for an indictment. And if their case isn't strong, they just drop it. And you travel around the country, and pretty much uniformly, of cases coming into the system, 30% of them, sometime during the process, from arrest to sentencing, 30% of the cases are going to be just discarded by the, by the prosecutor because they don't think they can win them. The cases they think they can win, they keep, and that's the cases that the public defender has to go against. The public defender, he would like to dump some of these cases too uh, for his defendant because uh, a lot of times they just are facing overwhelming evidence. And so most of their cases are short losing. Okay, now we go to the other end of the continuum, the reform programs. And uh, the two programs that I'm familiar with, um, and I sort of use as uh, my basis in constructing this paradigm, uh, happen to be in Washington, D.C. And the other one turned out to be, to my surprise, uh, in Essex County, New Jersey and the New Jersey uh, Public Defender Program. Um, and that program, amazingly, is uh, after hearing about the Soprano State recently in the series, um, this is like the uh, anti-Soprano State in terms of legal defense um, in Jersey. There is really uh, no public uh, or no political shenanigans going on. Uh, in the office, outside the office, it really has been placed uh, above the political threat. And they are a state-run operation, not by county or city. Uh, the program has, in New Jersey, uh, 20 different regional operations, 
Each one is well funded. Matter of fact, the public defenders, uh, because they get state monies, in contrast to the prosecutors who receive their money from the county, in a county like Essex County, which is very poor, the public defenders are better paid, better staffed, better housed than the prosecutors. One of the rare instances where they really are at an advantage. And actually the greatest advantage they have is the fact that they are stable and that they keep defenders there for years and years and many, the majority of the office are career defenders. Remember I said 80% of the public defenders in Chicago left uh, before four years? In New Jersey, 83% of the public defenders are there over 10 years. But the public uh, defense system in Essex County is marked by this kind of stability, this kind of nurturing that the public defenders give to each other. Now, I mean, it's not perfect. Um, the worst feature of being a public defender in Newark or anywhere is having to deal with your clients. Your clients lie to you, your clients despise you, because you represent their screwing up and getting arrested. And the public defender has to come up with his own redefinition of success. He can't use the idea that, oh man, I'm a great lawyer and I went into court and won today. I was able to you know, defeat the other uh, defendant or plaintiff or whatever, whichever side you're representing. And I really feel good about myself. It doesn't happen that way because 98% of your cases, or 90% of your cases, you, you, you're losing them. So what you have to do is redefine success.